Our boat is gonna be like an icebreaker by the time we're done with this. The boat's so overbuilt, we can put the bulkheads in with hot glue. <laughs> no, that, no, that's not true. Normally, you put all the bulkheads in as one big piece, but on our boat, the bulkheads don't fit into the companionway. The camera's not gonna fall off the tripod like it did before. <laughs> Well, we just picked up some marine ply today. These are gonna start turning into bulkheads. We've decided that the main ones are gonna be 20 mil, so about three quarters of an inch, and then everything else will be 12 mil, so about half an inch. And that should keep it strong and light. There's a nice supply store here that has every dimension of marine ply that exists. So we just loaded some up on the roof rack. We can't pick all of it up at the same time, so we're gonna take like multiple trips over the course of the next week or two to get everything that we need. So we're just gonna like drive really carefully so it doesn't fall off the roof. All right guys, so we've got all the wood pieces that we need for at least the main bulkhead sections. And so Ben is going to come over today and he's going to start by templating the bulkheads and cutting them into shape. But the interesting thing is that normally on new boats, you put all the bulkheads in as one big piece and you put the deck on top after all the bulkheads are inside, right? But on our boat, the bulkheads as one piece, they don't fit into the companion way. So, Ben's going to cut them into sections and then inside the boat, once he puts it into place, they're going to be laminating and stitching them together. But the first bulkhead is going in today, so I am super excited about that. Hey guys, guess what? The first bulkhead is there and it's very lightly, delicately put in. It's uh, the, the boat's so overbuilt that um, we can put the bulkheads in with hot glue. No, that, no, that's not true. But for the people who think we're serious about this, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is, we're gonna just look, leave her like look, this. Look what I can do. If I do this, ready? It doesn't. The camera's not gonna fall off the tripod like it did before. <laughs> and the hull is not flexing. Yeah, but... so um, we are going down the rabbit hole of gluing stuff back into our boat. Yes. Next steps are finishing the floor stringers, which the foam is mostly done for, and putting the main bulkhead in so that we can run two layers of glass throughout the entire hull. And then this full front section of the boat will be done with the main glass and reinforcement. So, so we, we start can working start on working on our boat again, yeah. putting the cabinetry and then the, the secondary bulkheads. Running all the plumbing and electrical and installing oh. equipment and doing all the fun stuff. It's weird because like the Ben's been working on this bulkhead the last couple of days and 
the boat already feels a little bit smaller. <laughs> I know. We got kind of used to like, the big so open big. space. <laughs> and now there's like this big wall in like, the Like, uh, do we need it? <laughs> the reality is with all the ribs and stringers uh, and all the support, like, we legitimately won't actually need bulkheads. I mean, maybe the main one's still a little bit important for like, well, chain that, plate compression and, and the, the mast. Depth, maybe, yeah. But like, the, the rest of this we could just leave empty. Put some hammocks in here. Uh, take it for a sail, you know, be a good time. Ooh. So as you can see, there's a lot more to do. The boat isn't done just because no. the ribs on it. But we, we technically fixed the dimples. That yeah. was the project. And the dimples are fixed. <laughs> good, we're done. <laughs> we're done. That's why we started and now we're done. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, the dimples are basically gone. I mean, there's, there, there's still like a little bit of like a shadow. Like when the sun hits it just right, you can kind of see Instead of the nice curved hull, it's a Same. little tiny bit flatter in those sections where the where the knees were like dimpling in the hull. Yeah. But that's going to be easy to kind of grind out and fare on the outside when we when we paint or chuck out the outside of the boat. So yeah, lots of work to still lots of work to do. get done, but so. it's moving along quickly, and we're excited to get the rest of this glass in, and then we can get in here and start like just going crazy. But first things first, the floors, and then the bulkhead. There's a lot going on today. They're uh, glassing in the main bulkhead, I think, and also potentially removing the bulkhead into the cockpit. Because the rest of the ribs and everything are glassed in, it means the boat's nice and stiff, which means we can just cut the rest of the structure out. All back here, we got a cockpit bulkhead and then the lazarette bulkhead uh, are all coming out because they're old and terribly glassed in. And the lazarette bulkhead's actually where our rudder stops are glassed into, and they also are broken. so much smaller now because we have the main bulkhead kind of put in place and uh, the ribs are done and inside the V berth I don't know if you can see but they've started to laminate the actual hull so we're not just stopping at the ribs and stringers so once we've finished this the guys actually come in and add what is it like two or three more, two layers? more layers yeah, yeah two more layers years. of fiberglass onto the hull itself as well, so... Which is about two mil, two to three mil of fiberglass extra. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, our boat is gonna be like an icebreaker by the time we're done with this project. The main bulkhead is here. This is as big of a piece as we could fit through the front door. We will be cutting it back at some point, but we just don't know exactly how much we're cutting it back. So both sides are actually a little bit like wider than they need to be. Mm -hmm. So that once we actually have them installed, then we can like laser them and cut them in place. Some of you guys were asking, we marked up all the ribs and stringers and then they glassed over them and you were wondering if they could still see it. But this this line right here is uh, our Sharpie line from before. Two layers of glass over it and a layer of peel ply. And you can still see it and read it just fine. Because if this is wetted out properly, um, it's almost transparent. And so, yeah, you can still see them just fine. And actually, they've been marking up and writing notes on the layers of glass they cut, which is something we do as well to like make sure you know which order they need to go in. Um, and you can see that just fine. So you can see it through. Um, I mean, maybe after like six or seven or eight layers of glass, you can't, but just a few layers, you can see it just fine. Buongiorno. And here they are, the heroes of the day. All right, so the guys are inside removing the cockpit bulkhead today, and I'm pretty excited about this one. It's 
such a heavy piece of wood. The wood itself is really heavy, and on top of that, we have all the marble that we've added years ago. And just by replacing that bulkhead with a different one is gonna lift up so much weight. Good morning, everyone. Check this out. More boat work today. <laughs> Ta-da! The last couple of days, the guy finished putting the stringers in the back of the carpet locker, laminated the entire hull. Oh, and also removed the entire bulkhead that was there. Yeah. And today, I believe they're going to be putting it back. Ben already cut out the bulkhead pieces, and they're just going to place it together and then gloss over it. And after that, it's our turn. I'm excited to actually take over now. Yeah, they've got a nice new layer of glass in the whole cockpit. We ran the stringers all the way back to the lazarette bulkhead, which we've also replaced because that's the bulkhead that our rudder stops were pushing up against. It was like this super thin piece of plywood and the rudder stops were delaminating everything every time we turned. So we ground out the rudder stops, we've taken out the autopilot shelf that we built and all that's gonna be new. And then, yeah, this cockpit bulkhead is we're moving it back. It was like it was it was here here, and we're moving it back to here, which it's only ten inches, like twenty five centimeters or something. But that means we can glass it right to the front edge of our cockpit, and it will go behind the ocean bolt here. So the whole thing is going to be stronger and stiffer, and that way we can isolate the ocean bolt and make it watertight. So uh, we're going to have a bulkhead on either side of it and like a hatch on top of it. What are we going to put in back here? I know that it's on gonna the other side, it's going to fill up quickly. It's going to fill up. Maybe water tank or batteries go in here. We haven't quite decided we haven't, yet. We haven't made a choice yet. But wow, yeah, it looks nice in here. Lots of work to do. <sighs> All right. Over the last couple of days, the guys finished putting the second bulkhead in place, and now, look at this, it's there, it's done. Wait, let me, I need to remove this. There we go. Ah, now you can see the bulkhead is here. So there are still a few things that we have to do. For instance, in the main bulkhead, then and I will still need to cut the alleyway, because it's not cut all the way to what we need it to be because we just wanted to have most of the bulkhead already there and then once we know the exact same size of the alley then we can of the corridor then we can cut it and the same thing with the aft bulkhead is we're going to be cutting a hole on the starboard side here because that's where the pilot berth is going to be but we want it to have the bulkhead here and then once we know exactly where the hole needs to be then we can cut it instead of having them cut out pieces to f match the interior and then something changes and we have to adjust. So I think having the big piece makes sense and then we'll cut it. Uh, that's it. They're done with the structural elements and now starting tomorrow, it's going to be Den and I back on working on the boat by ourselves. So this is exciting. There's so much to do, but this is really exciting. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying this project because we really are. We're learning so much and we're going to be learning so much throughout this entire project. And I'm so excited for this boat to be back in the water and the best shape that she has ever been in her entire 50 years of life. And it's like you're going to be here with us because you're going to be part of this project and watching us you know, smile and cry and sweat <laughs> and all the fun stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up. It really helps with the motivation. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of what this is going to turn out into. But until then, we'll see you guys next week. Cheers.